rocking like a hell. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Solutions and today we are going to take an internal look at the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So let's get started. So first switch off the phone which is obvious. The tools you would require are the Philips head screwdriver and the pry tool. Start by taking a sharp tool which you can trust with and create a small gap between the phone and the body. Now use the pry tool in order to release the back panel from the device. Do the same process on the all sides of the device. So please be patient and please be gentle with your smartphone. Once it is all done, you should be able to lift up the back panel. There are no cables connected to the back panel, hence you don't need to worry about the cables anymore. Now we are going to use the Philips head screwdriver and start unscrewing the protective shield which is placed in order to protect the battery cable just in case it plugs out during the drop of the phone. Good move Xiaomi. But first, we take out the fingerprint sensor out from the device. It is sticked to the main board and hence you might need to use some extra pressure. But be careful not to cut down any of the cables. Just unplug the cable just like a Lego. Now you have the fingerprint sensor with you. And that is how it looks like. Next, we remove the shield and start unplugging the cables. All the cables are easily removable. And after that, we start to unscrew all the six screws from the motherboard. Make sure you take out all the screws before taking out the motherboard out. We take out the upper plastic protector from the motherboard just by lifting it up. We also disconnect the antenna cable which is on the right side of the board. A little hard to see it. Once you are done, just lift up the board slowly and pull it out from the frame. That is how easy it is to disassemble the board from the frame. So that is the single thing which does all your multitasking and handles your heavy performance under the screen. As we start to observe the board, the main focus we get here is the camera. The board is having the dual camera attached to it. The bottom camera is the primary camera which is the 12 megapixel we can observe that it has only EIS and no OIS. And the top camera is the secondary camera which is a 5 megapixel which is a depth sensor. On the back we can see the SIM and the SD card slot. And we can see the rear part of the camera. We also have a picture of 20 megapixel front facing camera for that moonlight selfies. Just in case if you know what I mean. Then we have the IR blaster and the proximity sensors along with it. We can also see the copper plates stick to the frame which helps us to keep the device cool. Now we disconnect the camera cables. Make sure you disconnect both the cables as both the camera make a single unit of hardware. And just like that you can have the camera unit with you separated from the board. You can easily replace it with a new camera module just in case if your camera stops working. Now we try to remove the front camera. The camera has a copper plate sticked to it and hence we currently let it stay on its original place. We have the RAM, processor and the storage hidden underneath the silver metal shield in order to protect the board and the components. On the frame, we can see the connector and the vibrator motor sticked to the device.
Now, let us get into the lower part of the phone. Start unscrewing the screws. Try to lift the plastic cover from the space between the battery. In a try or two, you should be able to have it. We are now able to see the lower bolt. We have the micro USB port here along with the antenna cable attached to it. Then we have the headphone jack. The whole lower board should be replaced just in case if you damage any of those parts. We also have the frame number grooved in it. Then we have the speaker which has been fixed to the bottom plastic protector. We can see the connectors. Those helps us to send our favorite songs to the speakers. Then we have the magic pull tabs used to remove the sticked battery to the frame. Then we have the huge 4100 mAh battery which powers the whole phone and keeps the device working for 12 to 13 hours. Now so let's start to assemble the phone. Start with the motherboard, take the camera unit and connect it to the ports. Make sure you are very careful with the connectors. They are plastic built and fragile. Take the board and slide it inside the frame slowly. And match the screw holes in order to confirm the placement of the board. Give a gentle press so that the board gets fit into its original place. Now start connecting all the cables. And be very careful while connecting the antenna cable which is very delicate. Connecting the antenna cable took me a little while, so please be patient at this moment. Reconfirm all the connectors and check whether the phone starts up or not. Just in case if you have left any connectors, the trial can help you to identify them. So we have the phone pretty much in working condition now. We switch off the phone, put the top plastic cover and screw back all the screws back in its place. And now fix the fingerprint sensor back in its original place. Same goes with the bottom part as well. Just press fit the plastic cover and screw it back in position. Now gently clean the camera lens and the board to save it from any foreign particles. Take the back panel, slide it where we have the volume buttons first and press fit the frame gently. Press properly until you hear the clicks for confirmation. Now turn on the phone and as you can see we have the phone booting up. We also test the camera here and it seems to be working completely fine. And that is how easy it is to disassemble the Redmi Note 5 Pro, fix it by yourself and again assemble it. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you like it. Like the video, comment down below if you have any kind of questions. Also subscribe for more and more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Bye bye now.